<laughs> I stop at the gift shop on the way out. I grab a bunch of like Danishes and brownies. Nothing and like hospital brownies. Oh, it's so great. So anyway, so I get in the back of a cab, still wearing no shirt, and I have no shoes. Just, just <laughs> no shoes. No, no shoes. Shirt. No shoes, no shirt, just hospital pants and my baked goods. I tell the guy, take me to this hotel, whatever. I go to the host hotel. I eat all the brownies. I get there. I get out of the car, and I'm walking through the lobby to get to the elevator to go back There's to no my No shirt on. No shirt on, no shoes. All the competitors are there because it's Friday. I, I, I got one here for you. Um, yeah, go ahead. I'm going to look at mine. I, I actually had two people ask this. What, what's the dumbest thing you ever did regarding contest prep and diet? Oh, he's like such a list. <laughs> there is a list. I, t- I, I told an insulin story last week on the, our podcast, but... Oh, man. Sometimes I don't know how much I should say and how much I shouldn't. Read the question again. Story of my life. What's the, dumb, <laughs> what's the dumbest thing you ever did regarding contest prep, dieting, etc.? cetera? Uh, well, insulin was probably my biggest downfall. I, um, at 2005, I'll tell the story, even though it's, it's been horrible. I, I shouldn't tell the story, but I'm going to tell the story anyway, just so people can not do what I did. Mm-hmm. 2005, getting ready for the Canadian Nationals. Um, I was at the show. We were. I flew out to Saskatchewan. I think it was Saskatchewan. No, no that was 06. That was Montreal. That was Montreal. Yeah, Montreal so 2005, was 2005 is in Montreal, and um, I was supposed to – I'm not going to – name the coach or anything but i was supposed to take we were insulin loading for my carb load so i was supposed to take x amount of insulin and x amount of gh and we were going to do that leading up to the show which is not i hate insulin i really really hate insulin i don't use it i've used it a couple times in my career and it's always been bad experience so i'm like okay that's fine if you think we should carb load for the show this way um, i'm in right i had done it once before and it worked out well so i was like all right so i loaded I, for, I forget exactly what happened, but I had loaded 80 units of insulin it's in an insulin <laughs> in an insulin syringe, right? Uh-huh. But I had also loaded eight units of GH in an insulin syringe. So both are, both are the eight. Same. Both yeah. are 80, right? They look and the I, same. And I put one in one pack in one in the other side of the same pack. Oh, God. <laughs> now... When it came time to do my, uh, I was supposed to do the eight units of GH before bed on the Thursday night. I ended up doing the 80 units of insulin and then went to sleep. He's still alive, in case anyone's wondering. That's good. Yeah. So I woke up, I went to bed at like midnight, I think. I woke up at like 4 a.m. I felt dizzy. I'm like, I feel weird. I'm like, I gotta take a piss. So I got up to take a piss, kind of stumbled to the bathroom. I thought I thought I must have just been sleeping really hard, so I didn't think anything of it. Stumbled to the bathroom, took a piss, went back to bed. I woke up to the best looking paramedics I've ever seen in my life, because everybody in Montreal is good looking. Picking me <laughs> I actually remember that detail, but for some reason, but they picked me up and put me on a stretcher and wheeled me out to a, f- and, and then I got like a hazy point. And then I remember being in an ambulance and then I remember waking up in the hospital. So it's all I remember after the 4 a.m. piss is being picked up and put on a stretcher, being in an ambulance, being in a hospital. And they're like, they gave the sheet. So at the time, I don't know why, maybe our phones weren't as good back then. And I had a printout of what I was supposed to. <laughs> I had a printout of what I was supposed to be doing. And my ex-girlfriend at the time gave the printout to the doctor. And the doctor was like, he did this? And she's like, no, that's what he was supposed to do. He did this. And he's like, holy fuck. And he put me on a dextrose drip. And I woke up and I'm laying in the hospital bed in the emergency, hooked up to dextrose. And they're like, this is what happened, blah, blah. And I'm like, and then I started... So she she figured out what happened? Well, actually, <laughs> actually, she called Paul, and Paul was like, put some cookies in his mouth. <laughs> Kill him with a cookie. <laughs> so the f- 
fucking work? How the fuck does that work? So Right, but she figured out that you mixed up the shots is what I mean. No, she just called the ambulance. Oh, okay, okay. So, because I was... she know that you needed it? Were you just... I, w- you I was say? in a... She, she said I wouldn't wake up, and I was in a pool of my own sweat. Because, you know, right. when you're hypo- hypoglycemic, you yeah. just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had been sweating all night, literally like the bed was soaked. So, and and she couldn't wake me up. So she called the ambulance. Ambulance right. came, got me to the hospital. Yeah. Anyway, so I wake up yeah. in the hospital and they're like, what happened? And I start replaying everything and I'm like, oh my God, I can took 80 units of like insulin. Holy shit. And, uh, they're like, well, you're an idiot and you're lucky you're not dead. And this is fucking insane. Even this paper that I'm holding in my hand is insane, which it wasn't. Now that I look back, it's not that abnormal. Um, but to a doctor, obviously, it's insane. Yeah. And um, so they're like, you have to stay here. We have to hook you up. To, and, I'm, and then at that point, I feel fine now. I've woken up. I'm on yeah. dextrose. Like the hypoglycemia is worn off. Yeah. And I'm like, I got it. It's Friday now. The show is tomorrow. Yeah, so I got to go. <laughs> so I say, to, I say to my ex, I'm like, I got to get out of here i got a show tomorrow and they're she's like they're not going to let you leave you shouldn't leave and i'm like oh i gotta take a piss i didn't have to take a piss i just wanted to see what i looked like so i take my little thing and i'm wheeling myself to the bathroom and i get to the bathroom and i'm fucking shredded like every <laughs> <laughs> i can hear Aceto's voice you're gonna be shredded you're gonna be peeled <laughs> no no dude listen every ounce of <laughs> water on my body was gone like i was and this is not to say you guys should do this. Don't do this. I was going to say, wait, wait, yeah. wait. <laughs> well, because yeah, you sweat it all out, out, right? I'm not giving Otokin prescription. I'm lucky I didn't <laughs> die. But because I had sweat so much, I was just, right? So I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, okay, I feel good. I look great. I got to get out of here. Right. I go back to the bed. I go, is, I ask the doctor. He comes back. I go, is there anything keeping me here? He goes, no, but we don't feel like you should leave until your dex, like the dextrose strip is done. You need to get the sugar in your body. And I'm like, but I feel great. And he goes, I don't think you should leave. I go, you can't make me stay, right? He goes, no. I go, okay, I'm out of here. He goes, well, you got to sign a waiver saying you're leaving. I'm like, okay, cool. So I sign a waiver. I can bounce. And all I have on is a pair of hospital pants and no shirt. And I, I, I call my coach and I'm like, this is what happened. What should I do? He's like, start eating brownies. I'm like, okay. I'm like, awesome. So I start, I, I, stop, brownies. <laughs> I stop at the gift shop on the way out. I grab a bunch of like danishes and brownies. Nothing and shit. like hospital brownies. Oh, <laughs> so great. So anyway, so I get in the back of a cab, still wear no shirt and I have no shoes. Just, <laughs> just no shoes, no, no shoes, shirt. no shoes, no shirt, just hospital pants and my baked goods. Body like there. douchebag, run a one. Walking That's around right, just right? shredding. So I tell the guy, take me to this hotel, whatever. I go to the host hotel. I eat all the brownies. I get there. I get out of the car, and I'm walking through the lobby to get to the elevator to go back There's to no my No shirt room. on. No shirt on, no shoes. All the competitors are there because it's Friday. Look at and this guy. Guess, <laughs> guess who? Guess, Ron, Ron, you'd know this. Guess who wrote an article about me being an asshole? Who? Gary Bartlett. Oh, it's just going to say Gary. Gary Bartlett writes an article in Muscle Mag about how big an asshole I am and how arrogant I am. And I walk through the hotel and no shirt and that blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you motherfucker. I was in, I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. Like, the night. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so I get this huge reputation for being this cocky. Fuck. Nobody knows the story. And I'm <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> And the legend was born. So then. I, uh, we carb loaded some more and everything. I woke up the next day, got on stage, won my class. And I yeah. fuck crushed it. I looked amazing. My body soaked up all that carbs. I was like, I actually spilled over a little bit. That's probably why I didn't get my pro card. But, um, yeah, I won the super heavyweight class that year. And, uh, yeah, that's all. So <laughs> long story short, don't use insulin. It's horrible. And, uh, but sometimes yeah. you win. Sometimes, sometimes you get away with it, I guess. Sometimes you die. <laughs> so yeah, that's, man, probably, that. that's probably the worst, biggest mistake I ever made in my career. Because oh, it was literally like, literally, I'm surprised I didn't die. Like, you can't take 80 units of insulin and just go to sleep. You can't. It's Especially a rest. For that amount of time, I mean, holy. I'm thinking about just the math of when I've yeah. taken it, when I feel it. I mean, I, when I first started taking it, I still own the stores. And it would hit me, and my hands would start going. Yep. 
and I'm looking at a customer like, I hope he goes soon because if not, I'm about to slam a carb force right in front of him. That's right. <laughs> yeah, you have to. And then, you know, you know that feeling, even when you get to that point, you almost start eating like a homeless person. Yes. You just, yeah. just want to, you're so hungry and you just want the feeling to go away. You just start smashing anything and everything. You, you overcompensate greatly. <laughs> and that's, I think that's what I did for the show. That's probably why I wasn't a hundred percent sharp the next day. Cause I went too far, <laughs> but you know how it is in your carb loading. Somebody says you can have a brownie. You end up having five 50 brownies. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's a, uh, wasn't a good, wasn't a good day, but it ended up being okay. I guess. <laughs> 